Thousands of years before the birth of Christ, adventurers from island Southeast Asia set sail eastward through the waters of the Pacific. These ancient ancestors of our modern day Pacific Islanders adapted to their newfound environment. Often living in isolation, they evolved to form uniquely different and separate cultures. In early 1500 AD, much of that changed as the Spanish explorer Magellan, in search of new trade routes to Asia, began colonizing some of those islands, replacing a culture which had existed for millennia with that of their own. Many people of those islands are currently seeking to rediscover and preserve parts of that lost history. This is what one Chamorro group in Guam is doing today. Tasi is uh, traditions about seafaring islands. We're a non-profit organization. Um, where our vision is to um, have canoes sailing out in the waters of Guam and the Marianas and actually in all of Micronesia on a daily basis. So we, um, our, our mission is to revive traditional seafaring, navigation, canoe building, sailing, and the culture that surrounds uh, seafaring tradition. So we're learning traditional navigation, we're learning sailing skills, we're learning canoe building, canoe house building. I'd like to add that um, we owe our, our existence in, in part to Manny. Um, it's through his generosity that, uh, that he's and his willingness to teach us. So without his contribution, we wouldn't be able to revive tomorrow, the, the tomorrow seafaring tradition. Um, Manny lives on Guam and he's a, a crucial part of our organization. Um, he's the one who's teaching us seafaring, you know, sailing, canoe building, canoe house building. Also all of the, the skills that we, that we need to learn to revive this culture, uh, we're learning through Manny. Yeah, actually, I uh, foresee uh, our building of the uh, canoe that we just finished at Salman, and uh, also uh, I'm teaching uh, the group uh, how to build canoes and uh, uh, some tra uh, traditional navigation also. I'm from uh, the island of Pulot. It's in a, a small atoll in the Carolines, uh, west of the Chuk uh, uh, Islands. It's a part of Chuk State. Uh, we're still building canoes there, and uh, they're still uh, learning navigation. And uh, in fact, they're still sailing the canoes and uh, navigating around the islands. I learned uh, traditional navigation from uh, my grandfather. Uh, and canoe building, uh, I got it more from uh, my, my father. When I was younger and uh, you know, my grandfather uh, told me that uh, I'll, uh, he'll teach me navigation and my uh, father will teach me uh, in a building uh, since he was you know, too old to uh, you know, go around and uh, uh, you know, uh, cutting log or woods. And For us, uh what, what's important is that we get a core of people, local people who can also, who can learn and then will be um, willing to go out and teach others. It's, uh, it's open to anybody who's, who's interested in, in joining us. Um, you know, the, the fact of the matter is that we are in Guam and, we're, and, and what we're trying to revive is the Chamorro seafaring culture, but um, we're not limited to, to uh, Chamorros. We, mm -hmm. we welcome anybody and, and everybody who, who's interested. We want to keep certain things traditional. I mean, we built the Sina in the traditional fashion and we, we want it to stay that way. Uh, but we're not opposed to using fiberglass. I said earlier, we have a fiberglass canoe that we've built and, mm -hmm. and I could see us at some point, you know, there's not enough wood on Guam. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to get good, good wood. So I could see at some point where there's going to be, you know, if there's enough demand that we would be switching to a plywood and, uh, and fiberglass technology mm -hmm. very quickly. We were talking earlier about fishing and, and that, that kind of thing. Um, one of the one of the, the, the a couple of guys fellows that are new in our organization have just started joining us. They do uh, traditional fishing um, methods and things like that, and so they make lures and they make uh, fish hooks and and they, they're you know they want us to go and take them out fishing so we can try those things. And yeah, that's very cool. They you know they say all those other guys just make it so they can sell it. We want to make these things so we can try them out and see if we can actually catch a fish with, the, with these hooks and with these nets. I'd also like to add that, that um, this is not the only movement. Um, there's, there's a lot of interest uh, brewing or developing in the area. I know that you know a couple of years ago there was a group in Saipan that, that wanted to do the same thing. They wanted to build a 
Sacramento Moro, and they started getting organized. And we haven't heard very much from them lately, but there's a group in, in San Diego who's also doing, who wants to do the same thing, and they, they seem to be making more headway than, than, you know, the, than some of the other groups. But we know now that you know, there's a group in Rhoda that, that's very, very interested in, in us visiting them and sharing our ideas, and, and maybe they'll be, you know, they're, they're about to this, at the stage where they may be getting together and, and building their own uh, Chamorro Flying Pro. You know, whether it be a Sackman or a Lelek or any of those other mm -hmm. sizes, it doesn't doesn't really matter. As long as we get more of these boats built, you know, then we're, we're well on our way to, to reviving the seafaring culture. We were in Palau in uh, 2004 for the Festival of Pacific Arts and um, before 2000 there might have been one or two Palauan paddling canoes. To get ready for 2004, the Festival of Pacific Arts, they built something like eight huge paddling canoes. I mean, the big ones carry 40, 40 men. You know, there are 40 warrior uh, paddling canoes and they're now starting to do um, sailing canoes too. So uh, I understand they've just started a, a program where they're learning traditional navigation and, and sea, seafaring. Uh, they hired a, a Yapis uh, gentleman to, uh, to go to, to Palau to do that. Um, in, in Yap, they're also, they have a school of uh, uh, boat building and, and navigation. In, in the Marshall Islands, they have the same thing. It's actually, they're kind of ahead of us. They're, they're doing competition, racing, and, and stuff like that, but they're doing a lot of uh, uh, fiberglass canoes and things like that. There's a movement throughout the area to, to, bring, to bring it back. And just a couple weeks ago, we had, a, we had an international symposium here. Well, we, maybe we don't call it an international, they call it Circum Philippine Sea uh, symposium, Small Boat Symposium, where mm -hmm. we had folks from Okinawa, uh, is it Okinawa? Taiwan. Taiwan. Uh, Japan, the Philippines, Guam, uh, Yap, CNMI, uh, you have others, and and of, and of course we had Manny from from Pulua, and so we had you know this group of people together sitting in the same room talking about what we're all doing in, in this regard. So there's a lot happening nowadays, and uh, there's there's more. It, it's just growing.